Why do sharks like to swim in salt water? Because pepper makes them sneeze. Hello all my seagoing friends and welcome to our deep dive into the world of the prehistoric megalodon, the largest shark to ever roam the oceans. Imagine a creature so colossal, so powerful that it ruled the seas for millions of years. Join us as we journey back in time to uncover the secrets of this magnificent predator. The megalodon, its very name evokes a sense of awe and trepidation, a true titan of the ancient seas. This was a creature that dwarfed even the largest predators alive today, a true behemoth of the ocean. Imagine a great white shark, itself a formidable creature, a predator that commands respect and fear. Now magnify it threefold, even fourfold, and you begin to grasp the sheer scale of the megalodon. Fossil evidence suggests that megalodons could reach lengths of up to 60 feet, possibly even larger, making them one of the largest predators to have ever existed. To put that into perspective, that's longer than a school bus. Imagine encountering such a giant in the depths of the ocean. Its jaws, a marvel of evolution, were lined with rows upon rows of serrated teeth, each one a lethal blade designed to tear through flesh and bone with terrifying efficiency. These weren't just any teeth, they were tools of destruction, some measured over seven inches long, larger than your hand, a testament to their deadly purpose. Just picture the immense power behind a bite from such a creature, capable of crushing bones and tearing apart its prey with ease. The megalodon, it's believed, had a bite force more than three times stronger than the T-Rex. These teeth are often the only remnants we find of megalodons, scattered across the ocean floor like whispers from a bygone era, telling tales of their dominance. The megalodon evolved during a time when the oceans were teeming with life, a vibrant ecosystem full of potential prey, including giant marine mammals that served as its primary prey, providing the sustenance needed for such a massive predator. Their immense size was a crucial factor in their hunting success, allowing them to overpower even the largest of marine creatures. It allowed them to dominate their environment, ruling the ancient seas with an iron fin, instilling fear in all who crossed their path, a true apex predator. Despite their size, they were remarkably agile, moving through the water with surprising speed and grace, a deadly combination of power and agility. The megalodon was not just a giant, it was a highly skilled predator at the very pinnacle of the food chain, ruling the ancient seas with unmatched dominance. Its hunting grounds were the vast open oceans where it reigned supreme, patrolling the waters with an air of authority. Its prey, primarily large marine mammals, creatures like whales, dolphins, and even giant sea turtles, all of which were no match for its might. Imagine the sheer force required to take down such massive animals, a testament to the megalodon's raw power and ferocity. Their hunting strategy was a combination of brute force and cunning, a deadly mix that ensured their success. Unlike some sharks that rely on constant movement, the megalodon was an ambush predator, a master of stealth. It would lurk in the depths, waiting for the opportune moment to strike, hidden from sight until it was too late for its prey. Their attacks were swift and brutal, leaving little chance for escape. And if I may add, it brings new meaning to the term bone-chilling. Scientists believe they would often target the flippers or tails of their prey, crippling them before delivering the fatal blow, ensuring a successful hunt. Such tactics suggest a level of intelligence, a calculated approach to hunting that goes beyond mere instinct. The sheer force of their bite was staggering, capable of crushing bones with ease. Some estimates suggest it could exert a bite force of up to 180,000 newtons, one of the most powerful bites in the animal kingdom, a true marvel of nature. Yet, despite their fearsome reputation, megalodons played a crucial role in the delicate balance of the prehistoric oceans, maintaining the health of marine ecosystems. And speaking of crucial roles, we'd like to take this opportunity to invite you to like and subscribe to our channel. The team of two mermaids and a submarine would be delighted to have your company on all our excursions. And so, moving right along. Our understanding of the megalodon comes primarily from the clues they left behind, whispers etched in stone. Fossils, those precious remnants of a bygone era, provide us with a glimpse into their world. The first megalodon teeth were discovered in the 1800s, sparking both curiosity and debate among scientists. These weren't just any shark teeth, they were enormous, some measuring over seven inches long with finely serrated edges. 
These teeth, along with scattered vertebrae and fragments of their skeletons, have allowed paleontologists to piece together a remarkably detailed picture of the megalodon's anatomy. From the shape of their jaws to the structure of their fins, we're slowly unlocking the secrets of their physical form. Bite marks on ancient whale bones, perfectly matching the serrations on megalodon teeth, offer irrefutable evidence of their predatory prowess. By analyzing the chemical composition of their teeth, scientists can even learn about their diet and migratory patterns. These ancient predators roamed vast distances across the globe, their presence felt in oceans far and wide. The reign of the Megalodon, while impressive, was not to last. Around 2.6 million years ago, these titans of the deep vanished from the fossil record. Their extinction marked a pivotal moment in oceanic history a dramatic shift in the balance of power. The exact reasons for their demise remain a mystery, a puzzle that continues to intrigue scientists. However, several contributing factors likely played a role in their downfall. One leading theory points to changes in climate and ocean currents. Megalodons were adapted to warmer waters, and as the planet entered a cooling period, their preferred hunting grounds may have shrunk, leading to a decline in prey availability. Another factor could have been the rise of new competitors, particularly other large predatory sharks. As the megalodon's reign began to falter, these new rivals may have outcompeted them for resources, further contributing to their decline. With their disappearance, new ecological niches opened up, allowing other species to thrive and diversify. This period marked the rise of modern whales, dolphins, and seals creatures that had previously shared the oceans with the megalodon. Even though the megalodon vanished millions of years ago, its legend lives on. Long before we had scientific evidence of their existence, tales of giant sea monsters have captivated the human imagination for centuries. Could some of these tales passed down through generations be rooted in actual encounters with megalodons? It's a tantalizing thought, blurring the lines between myth and reality. Across cultures, from the Vikings to the Polynesians, stories of colossal sea creatures capable of swallowing ships and dragging sailors to their doom have been woven into folklore and mythology. These tales often served as cautionary warnings, reminding people of the unpredictable and often dangerous nature of the sea. In more recent times, the megalodon has become a staple of popular culture, appearing in books, films, and documentaries. While these fictionalized accounts may not always be scientifically accurate, they reflect our enduring fascination with this prehistoric giant. While the megalodon is long gone, its legacy lives on in the creatures that inhabit our oceans today. Comparisons are often drawn between the megalodon and the largest predatory shark alive today, the great white shark. While significantly smaller than its prehistoric counterpart, the Great White shares some striking similarities with the Megalodon, particularly in terms of its hunting style and choice of prey. Both species are apex predators, occupying the top of the food chain. They share a preference for large marine mammals, and both employ ambush tactics to take down their prey. However, there are also significant differences between these two formidable creatures. The megalodon was far larger and more powerful, with a bite force estimated to be several times stronger than that of a great white. By studying the similarities and differences between the megalodon and the great white shark, scientists can gain a deeper understanding of the evolutionary adaptations that allowed these apex predators to thrive in their respective environments. The story of the megalodon is more than just a fascinating tale of a prehistoric giant. It is a window into the past that offers us crucial insights into the present and future. It holds valuable lessons for us today, particularly as we grapple with the challenges of climate change and its impact on our oceans. The megalodon's existence and extinction are a testament to the delicate balance of marine ecosystems. Megalodons lived during a time of significant climate fluctuations adapting to changes that were both gradual and sudden. Their eventual extinction serves as a stark reminder of the interconnectedness of life on Earth and the vulnerability of even the most dominant species. No creature, no matter how powerful, is immune to the forces of nature. The vulnerability of these apex predators highlights the fragility of the marine food web and the cascading effects that can result from the loss of a single species. 
By studying the factors that led to their demise, such as changes in ocean temperature and prey availability, scientists can gain valuable insights into how modern marine ecosystems might respond to similar pressures. Changes in ocean temperature and prey availability were critical factors in the megalodon's extinction, and these same factors are at play today. Scientists can gain valuable insights into how modern marine ecosystems might respond to similar pressures by examining these historical events. The oceans are warming at an alarming rate and these rising temperatures are already having a profound impact on marine life, from the smallest plankton to the largest whales. These rising temperatures are causing coral bleaching, altering fish migration patterns and threatening the survival of countless species. Understanding how past climate change events impacted marine life, such as the extinction of the megalodon, can help us predict and mitigate the potential consequences of our current trajectory. The extinction of the megalodon is a powerful example of how climate change can reshape the natural world, and it underscores the urgency of our current situation. By learning from the past, we can better predict and mitigate the potential consequences of our current situation, ensuring a more sustainable future for our oceans. The Megalodon story serves as a call to action, a reminder that we must act now to protect our oceans and the myriad forms of life they support. Every action we take today can help preserve the delicate balance of marine ecosystems for future generations. The incredible diversity of life in our oceans is a treasure worth protecting, and the lessons from the Megalodon story can guide us in our efforts to safeguard this precious resource. And there you have it. The incredible story of the Megalodon. From its massive size to its mysterious extinction, this prehistoric giant continues to fascinate us. Its legacy lives on, not just in the fossils it left behind, but in the lessons we can learn from its reign as king of the prehistoric seas. The Megalodon reminds us of the incredible power of nature both to create and to destroy. Thank you for being with us today and until next time stay safe and keep exploring and stay tuned for more deep dives into the wonders of our natural world.